My name is Ebenezer Amwako Entry, and you are so welcome to this YouTube channel. On this YouTube channel, you are going to get videos that will set you up in your work with God and also with your prayer life. On this channel, you upload videos consistently to make sure that believers are guided to pray and pray and pray. If you are new to this YouTube channel, make sure that you subscribe to the YouTube channel so that when we upload new videos, you can have access to them. And also, if you don't understand anything, kindly send us a message and we will get back to you. Also, make sure that this video you are about to watch, you will like the video, try and comment on it. And when you are blessed by the video, make sure that you share it to someone. Thank you. Is somebody with me? That the anointing you have received of him abided in you. Now, did he say you are going to receive an anointing or you have received? Can you shout it, please? So, you have received an anointing. Say, I have received an anointing. Shout it again. I have received an anointing. Now, the question is, this anointing you have received, what is it? What does it mean? How do you, how do you use it? You can have a weapon and you don't know how to use it. You can have a weapon and you don't know how to increase in it. And that's what I want to just give you an idea. Then, we'll take it up, God willing, next week. When we use the expression anointing, we can be making reference to two things. The process of the anointing or the substance of the anointing. Never forget it. The process of the anointing or the substance of the anointing. So, I can come to church like last week and we said that we are going to have an anointing service. And what we are going to do was to anoint you. Is the process of the anointing. Then, after the anointing, or when you read this verse, the Bible said you have an anointing. It means that I have received a substance, and that substance is called the anointing. So the anointing can make reference to the substance you have received, or the process of receiving the substance. Does it make sense? The word anointing in Hebrew is mashak, and in the Greek is krio. And it simply means to smear, to paint. So, you need paint for the painting. Is that correct? So, when I am painting, I, I can say that I am painting the house. Then I can look at the substance I'm going to use to paint and say that this is the paint. When you are putting cream on you, you can say I am creaming my body. Then you can look at the cream and say that this is the cream. So, the anointing can make reference to the process. I'm going to anoint you. I'm going to smear you with power. Or, I have the anointing on me. I have the cream on me. I have the substance of the anointing on me. Is it clear? You want to make sure it's very clear in your mind and in your heart. The next thing is, I want to define to you the anointing. The anointing. Simply, the anointing is divine empowerment. You can say divine endowment or divine enablement. It's a divine endowment of the Holy Spirit. Don't forget this part because it's key. I'll explain to you. It's a divine empowerment of the Holy Spirit on an individual or a thing. It means the anointing can be on a person or on substances, on things, objects. It's a divine empowerment of the Holy Spirit on an individual or a thing to accomplish a divine task. I'll repeat it. The anointing is divine empowerment, enablement, endowment of the Holy Spirit upon an individual, a person, or an object to accomplish a specific task. Now, to make it simple for you, the anointing is God's energy or God's ability for you to work. The anointing is God's energy, God's ability for you to work. Simply put, the anointing is God's power. Say God's power. So anytime you hear people say, anointing, anointing, now you have an idea that they are making reference to God's power, God's energy, God's ability, God's enablement and endowment. Can you give me the definition I gave you to you in the Greek, if possible? Glory be to God. The Greek says, it's an unguent. A substance, a smearing, an ointment, or, or smearing that is figurative, the special endowment of the Holy Spirit. Did you see that? So, this definition is not because I sat down, that is the meaning of the word anointing. It's an endowment of the Holy Spirit, it's an, an enablement, an empowerment of the Holy Spirit. 
It means that when it comes upon you, you are able to do something supernatural outside of your ability. What your strength can never accomplish, the anointing can bring it to pass around your life. Is that somebody, somebody with me? The Bible talk about a certain man called Samson. The guy was very ordinary. But any time this spirit will come upon him, the anointing, the guy can do amazing stuff. John Judges 14 verse 26. Glory be to God. But Samson's wife was given to his companion, whom he had used as his friend. And it came to pass within a while after. It came to pass, go to verse 6 for me. Then the Philistines said, Who had done this? And they answered Samson. John, Judges 14, verse 6. 14, verse 6. Glory be to God. And the spirit of the Lord came mightily upon him. And he rent him as he would have rent a kid. He saw a lion. And ordinarily, the guy can never fight a lion. But the moment he saw the lion, the spirit of the Lord came upon him and he treated the lion like a goat. And he had nothing in his hand. Can you imagine? Even David had something in his hand. But for something, he had nothing. Bare hands. And he told it not to his father or his mother what he had done. It was not news to him. Can you imagine? No, no, no. If you killed a lion, you know, you know the first place you put it. Facebook or Instagram. Which one? Oh, oh talk to me. What's up? You, 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 you know where you put it. TikTok. Okay. <laughs> but for something, he said that this is no news. Why? The anointing will come upon him. But one day, he made a mistake. And he had told his secret to Delilah. And they cut the source of his strength. And now, the guy could kill a lion. This Philistine, he has been beating them. One day, he said that, I will stir up myself as other times. The Bible said, he did not know that the spirit of the Lord had left him. It means that something was not something. It was a substance which made the guy something. Now, when he lost that substance, it was over. And when the substance is there, the guy can recover. And in the process of time, the Bible said, his hair began to grow again. And they were having a party. They put the guy in between two pillars. The people made the mistake because they had forgotten that the secret was in the hair. And this hair is coming back. And now, he said, God, can you once more strengthen me? And that power which left came. And the guy could kill more in his death than in his life. It means that there is an extra substance which can come upon your life. Which can make you glorious. Which can make you beautiful. Which can make you succeed. It brings the extra to your ordinary. You need it. You must be conscious of it. Things you don't qualify in this life. That extra when it comes. It can make you qualify. Things your hands can never achieve. That power can come for you to achieve. It was the Bible which said that. It is me who gives you the power to get wealth. So physically, even to get things, you need power. You need the anointing to get. To advance and make progress. Things are forcing and limiting and pushing you backwards. You need this anointing to move forward in this life. You need that anointing to be healed in your body. Glory be to God. And what I'm trying to do for you first is that I want you to know the significance and the importance of this anointing. It's not just for pastors. But if you're a pastor, you need it. Because you, it's God's work purely. And you must get that anointing. The next thing is, I want to bring your attention to the source of the anointing. And the moment you get this principle, now your life will become very easy. So the next segment is the Holy Spirit and the anointing. Say the Holy Spirit and the anointing. Without the Holy Spirit, there is no anointing. I'm going to give you a, an example which you will never forget. I'm sure you know how a bee produces honey. Some people say that honey is just the poop of a bee or a vomit of a bee. Don't say, ah, you like it. But, but technically, it's not the poop or the vomit. But if I explain to you, some ways they are right. But if you check the content, it's not the poop because the bee has its poop. How is honey produced? What happens is that the bee will go to a flower and suck the nectar with the mouth or the proboscis. So it comes. When it sucks the nectar, it enters a portion of the stomach. It's called the honey stomach. So it is over there. While it is there, enzymes will be working on that substance called the nectar. It's not the poop. Then 
it will come out and meet another bee. When it meets the bee, <laughs> they will kiss. <laughs> what they use that they do mouth to mouth, breast assistation. And, and when they are doing that, the nectar or the substance in here, he will bring it out into the other bee. And the other bee will bring the other one over here. Why are they doing that? Because the enzymes differ in all of them. So they are trying to produce a certain substance. So it's nectar inside. The enzymes will work here. Why? They are working on my own. They are working on your own. Then when we meet, we, <laughs> we exchange. We exchange. I think that one is a safe word. <laughs> they exchange the substance. Then once they exchange it, what will happen is that now they will go and regurgitate it into the honeycomb. Then they will use their wind to blow over it. Then it will harden. Then a farmer will go and take it and sell it to you. And you eat it. And it's called honey. That the question is, without the honey, without the bee, there is never shouted. Without the bee, there is never honey. I know the synthetic one. Let's go to the natural source. So you, let's forget about the synthetic one. But without the bee, there is never the honey. But a bee can be there and there is no honey. Talk to me. You can have the bee and there is no honey. But when you have the bee and the bee produces the honey, you can say that the honey has been produced by the bee. When you chew the, <laughs> the bee, you are not happy. You are not satisfied. But when you lick the honey of the bee, you are happy. When they sell the bee, they won't get much money. Because by the time they finish, the bee will finish them. <laughs> but when they sell the honey, everybody is happy. They will use it for medicine. There are different uses of the honey. Is that correct? That is how the anointing is. The Holy Spirit is the bee. And the substance he secretes is the anointing. Can you clap for Jesus? Now let me break it down for you. Micah 3 verse 8. I'm, I'm going to just show you verses so that you know that anytime the Holy Ghost is there, then there's a possibility of the anointing. When he's not there, there's no anointing. But when he's there, then you know that, wow, if he's there, then I can get more honey. I can get more anointing. You cannot get more Holy Spirit because he's one. But once the Holy Ghost is there, he can vomit and produce more anointing for you. But truly, look at what the prophet is saying. But truly, I am full of power by the Oh, shout it. By the It means that this power comes from who? The army comes from the bee. Are you sure you are getting it? Acts 1 verse 8. This is Jesus talking. But you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you. It means without the Holy Ghost coming, you cannot receive the power. So anytime there is the anointing of God's power, the Holy Ghost must be present. Are you sure you are here? Acts 10 verse 38. If you get this thing, you know how to generate the anointing any day, any time. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. Now, when you read the verse, it makes sense because at times you are asking, How can he anoint the, with the Holy Ghost and with power? I did the same. No, you know the person and the power. Anointed with the Holy Ghost and with power. Who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil? For God was with him. Thank you, Jesus. Luke 1, verse 35. Thank you, Jesus. And the angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow you. This is Virgin Mary trying to give birth. And the angel said, No, it's not possible. You can't do that in your life. A virgin giving birth. But there's a possibility. The person of the anointing, the Holy Ghost will come. When he comes, his power will overshadow you. It is power going to do the work, but he must be there to produce the power. So the person of the Holy Ghost will have to be with you. Then his power overshadowing you, taking over you, now begins to bring about the manifestation. Once it is there, you are sure that you are going to have the effects of the anointing. I read to you Luke 4 verse 1, how Jesus was full of the Holy Ghost. Go to Luke 4 verse 1. He was full of the person. The army was present. The bee was present, but the army was absent. And Jesus being full of the Holy Ghost, the bee, is that correct? 
Oh, is that correct? Returned from Jordan. And he was led by, he was led by the bee into the wilderness. So the bee was saying that, let me go and show you how to produce the honey. By verse 14, the honey was ready. Next. Verse 14. And Jesus returned in the power of the spirit. You see, the reason why people are not following you is they don't want the bee. They want the honey. They don't care about the bee. It's the honey they want to lick small. Can I tell you something? If you can produce sufficient dimensions of this honey, people will just chase you. Mm -hmm. And Jesus returned in the power. Was it not, not the same Jesus walking as people went to him for carpentry work? They didn't recognize him. Because the Bible said he was a carpenter. Probably the chair they were sitting on, he was the one who produced it. And they didn't care. But the day the honey was produced, they left the chair came chasing him because now the guy had only to deliver and it's only we want to lick i show you are with me luke 24 verse 49 I, I, I told you how jesus said i will send you the promise of the father then you shall be endued with power behold 49 49 glory be to jesus and behold i send the promise of my father upon you but tarry ye in the city of jerusalem until you be endued with power from on high so power from on high will come to you by the promise and the promise is the promise of the spirit so you need the holy spirit for the holy spirit when you know what to do with the holy spirit then you get the power from on high romans 1 verse 4 i'm just trying to make sure you have an understanding so when we begin to talk about how to increase next week it will be easy for you and declared to be power he was talking about jesus he said jesus was declared to be the son of God with power according to the spirit of holiness so without the spirit there is no power by the resurrection from the dead Romans 15 verse 13 glory be to God now the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing that ye may abound in hope how? through the power of the so without the Holy Ghost, there's no power. Never forget it. Tell somebody without the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost. There, is no there is no power. When you ignore the Holy Ghost and look for power, you will become a magician. You will become a juju. Because you need a personality to produce the power. And when people cannot stay with the Holy Ghost, now they have to go and consult a malam. And the malam is consulting an, a demonic spirit. And demonic spirit, they have certain power, but not the power of the Holy Ghost. Elimas the sorcerer. And that's how people have become witches. A witch is somebody who is empowered by another spirit other than the Holy Ghost. Because a witch can prophesy to you. A prophet can prophesy to you. What is the difference? The source of the power. Yes. And once you, you know that when you have the gift of descending of spirit, then you can now discern that all of it is prophecy. But there's another energy following the spirit. I show you all with me. You can go for a charm and get married and the Holy Ghost can help you to get married. Either way, you got married but the source was different. People have gone to, Juju people, they got pregnant by a strange spirit and the Holy Spirit can make you but the difference is uh, the devil has no free lunch. You will pay, you pay five times. Is somebody with me? Read verse 19 for me. Let's begin to run up. Through mighty signs and wonders by the power of the spirit of God so that from Jerusalem and run about to Illyricum I have fully preached the gospel of Christ so Paul said that I have by the power of the spirit preached the gospel not just by the spirit by the power of the spirit when you go back into the Old Testament what I'm teaching you makes a lot of sense when we begin to understand the mystery of the pillar of cloud and the pillar of fire when you study the journeys of the Israelites you realize the Bible said God was with them. During the day, he was a pillar of cloud. In the night, he was a pillar of fire. So actually, the cloud was the fire. Let's read Exodus 13 verse 21. Oh, we love you, Jesus. We love you, Holy Spirit. What I want you to do is that have a personal relationship with the Holy Spirit who is already with you. Then you will increase in the power which you want to use for the manifestation. And the Lord went before them by day in a pillar of cloud to lead them the way and by night in a pillar of fire 
to give them light to go by day and night so when they were going there was one pillar in the day it's a pillar of cloud in the night the same pillar has become a pillar of fire Isaiah 4 verse 4 mm, God will create upon the mountain every dwelling place of Mount Zion a cloud when the Lord shall have washed away the field get me verse 5 and the Lord will create upon every dwelling place of Mount Zion and upon her assemblies a cloud and a smoke by day and the shining of a flaming fire by night he was making reference to the pillar of cloud and pillar of fire for upon all the glory there shall be a defense so this anointing and the Holy Spirit I'm talking about is talking about the glory and the defense beautiful now question is the cloud and the fire what was the representation I've talked to you about that the Holy Spirit is like the bee producing the honey so it's difficult to separate the bee from the honey because anytime you see honey nobody will have to tell you to think about the bee and when we want to see power we must think about the Holy Spirit when we think about the pillar of cloud we must think about the pillar of fire in representation the Old Testament is a typology of what God is actually trying to tell us the pillar of cloud represents the person of the Holy Spirit and the pillar of fire represents the power of the Holy Spirit can I get two people please I want you to understand this simple mystery this is the Holy Spirit he represents the pillar of cloud his person the person of the Holy Spirit because he is a person the Holy Spirit is not wind he can manifest like a wind but he is a person and his person is what is called the pillar of cloud then he can produce an element called the pillar of fire so when we talk about the Holy Spirit we have two things we must talk about the power and the presence say the power and the presence can you shout the power and the presence when we say the presence of the Holy Spirit we are talking about the person of the Holy Spirit and when we talk about the power of the Holy Spirit we are talking about an element a substance of the Holy Spirit that is how come a handkerchief can be anointed it will work miracles but the power of the Holy Spirit is there but the presence of the Holy Spirit is with the man of God who transferred it I repeat so I stand here I carry the Holy Spirit and by faith I can direct the anointing the substance the honey I can put honey on this and I can bring it to you the anointing and you eat it you lick it but the person who produced the honey is right here does it make sense so this is what the presence will do the presence of the Holy Spirit is the person of the Holy Spirit and the power of the Holy Spirit is an element produced by the Holy Spirit that is how come something the day the spirit left the power left you don't want to have a relationship with the power without the person because if the person leaves the power is no more there so you can see a man of God and people say that this man of God I know he's a sinner he's sinning he's sinning what will happen over time is that the person of the Holy Spirit his grief his light will reside and go down and you say that this this man of God used to be very powerful what happened and even in his simple state he can work some miracles because the honey is still there and what he will use that the honey can be licked and licked the moment the honey is finished on this handkerchief the rest becomes tricks because <laughs> because the person the person who is inside is not producing the honey again the, the bee is angry the bee is not happy does it make sense so if we must get this anointing we must think about the presence the person of the spirit because the more we make the bee the person happy we can produce more honey for supply what the presence will do the person will do is that the person of the Holy Spirit will bring you the revelation of God but the power of God will bring you the manifestation of God I repeat the presence of God is what brings revelation of God so you can find somebody they know nothing about God but they can do a lot of powerful things you can find people they do not think about God but they are able to get certain testimonies why 
the power of God is easy to give to people but the revelation of God it comes by the person you must have a relationship with the person to know the person is somebody with me I can bring hundred thousand dollars to church today and I tell this guy give everybody thousand dollars today okay just thousand dollars and uh, I'll see you tomorrow and I will talk about the rest everybody will get a thousand dollars but most people will never know me although you don't know me you got a thousand dollars is that correct but this guy he knows me he knows my person he knows my presence and so this guy can even take the hundred thousand and keep it because he knows the person but since you don't know the person you are hoping that one day you get a thousand or a fifty so the presence of God brings you the revelation of God but the power of God brings you the manifestation of God the Bible says that he made known his ways to Moses and his acts to the children of Israel the Israelites knew the manifestation and the power they saw miracles but Moses knew the person so he could work the ways I pray that you begin to know the person of this Holy Spirit not only about oh I saw miracle I saw power here yeah, God is there no problem it's happy to know the acts but I pray that you come to a place where you understand the ways of God where you have a revelation of the person of the spirit and it come by the presence it's a relationship you have with the person that's how come at times I can have the grace to bless you but I will have a certain problem in my life and it's not working the personal problems of your life changes by the presence not the power because somebody prayed this morning and said God touch me heal me and God wants to use the person God, God wants to heal the person through you you are the only one available so when they came to church he will let you go and touch the person the person got healed but you you didn't get healed because your relationship with the person is not working does it make sense about four days ago somebody sat in the service I never knew that the person had stomach problems I can see the person but I'm sure if I call her she'll be shy I never knew that she had stomach problem she's going to the doctors they have done endoscopy you know what I mean they have done scan the doctor said nothing they can't find anything but she's suffering and she came to church and sat here so I was closing the service and I just went to the person like that and I lay my hand upon the abdomen of the person and I just closed the service I never knew what had happened not knowing that the pain left instantly but the person was thinking maybe it's not true let me wait for one more week after one week the pain never returned let me wait for two more weeks then when he waited after two weeks and never came back he came to tell me what happened now what happened i'm sure the person had been believing god and the spirit of god by means of the anointing when i touched the person physically nothing happened but in the realm of the spirit an anointing left this hand and went to fix the case can i tell you something you can work on this thing i'm talking about and go to walmart people will greet you and their diseases will leave you can have a family meeting and when you talk people are fighting when you talk the anointing can bring peace you can go for an interview and when they look at your face they will begin to say what did you bring i remember somebody went for an interview and when the interview was done some of the people who were at the board called the person he said that everybody said that 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 lady brought favor i said how did they know you brought favor because i remember before the interview the person has worked on favor the, the people they don't know god they don't even pray but they could see that the person brought something to this interview if we can relate with the presence the presence will bring the revelation the power will bring the manifestation the presence of god is what changes heart the power of god changes circumstances i repeat the presence of god the israelites saw god's can you imagine walking through the red sea and you get you don't get born again talk to me the israelites they, they, they saw miracles but they were stubborn they were going to serve idols the power of God only changes circumstances but if you want to change the heart of a person it comes by the presence of God it's not enough to carry the power you must manifest the presence is somebody with me so have a relationship with the Holy Spirit because he's the person he can produce the presence and the power he, he lift up your two hands we worship you Jesus wave your hands to God you see speak in tongues if you can maronga vrahasas leva hagadahas hadadadadada 
to God most high. Speak in tongues, three minutes we close. Lift it up. Lift up your two hands. Jesus. Okay. Carry all your goods and let it go now. I break your chains now. All of your works have ended today. The hold you have over here is broken. Never again. Out. I said out. You said no by the judgment of God. Pick it, pick it. Speak in tongues, everyone. Go ahead. Speak in tongues. Everyone speak in tongues. I can't hear you pray. Go ahead. Go ahead. There's a reason why I told her to go. That is the daughter. I don't want a transfer. The devil 
Bible is a liar. They shot an arrow and they would plan and take her to surgery and they told she won't come back. But in the name of Jesus, I curse it by the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. If I by the finger of God cast out Okay, you are going I said you are going Okay I said in this service you are living never to return You are living never to return You are living never to return I tell you why you live because this is the temple of God because Jesus purchased her and you've tormented her long enough I give you a slap of this thank you for liberty clap for Jesus clap for Jesus and give him praise now lift up your two hands toward me right now Auntie Grace is okay. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, every yoke of the enemy concerning your life is broken in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let the hand of the Lord rest upon you. Let the glory of heaven rest upon you in the name of Jesus. I demand your preservation. I demand your liberty. In the name of Jesus, I command the fire of God. Let the power of God's grace, let the anointing manifest around your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Le patala ba speaking tongues marangatas le panga shonda kalingatas le panga tena pes you are fans in this life you are fans maramba I break the hold of the enemy I break the hold of the enemy I break the hold of the enemy le vado shanta la baba let it go that bondage of the years broken in Pelias ah, no, no, yes. pack your gold, lose and go let it go I break it please give me two minutes we have to work on this devil is a lie. How did you manage to follow her here? Your end has come today. I said your end has come today. Your end has come in that monitoring being which has followed you. It's following you to that interview. It is broken in the name of Jesus. In Paliras. I demand favor. It's a realm of favor. It's a realm of favor. Le <laughs> <laughs>
watching us online in person you are here i've been talking about the anointing and i'm saying that the person who gave us the holy ghost is jesus he's the one who gave us the anointing maybe you are not born again you don't know this jesus you are not sure of what this pastor is talking about you want to repeat after me because you want to accept him as your lord and your savior the person of jesus is the key to the anointing will you repeat after me say lord jesus lord jesus i declare you are my Lord, are my Lord and, my Savior. and my Savior. You are the Son of God. You, are the Son of you God. came into the world. You, came into the world. you, died. you died. And you resurrected. And you resurrected. I, believe. I believe. I accept you. I, accept you. I, receive, I receive the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. I, receive I receive eternal life, eternal life. into my bosom right into now. My bosom right In now. Jesus, name. Jesus' name. And Father, right now, command. Bring us into an intimacy with you, Holy Spirit. A deeper place of glory. A deeper place of power. I pray for everyone under the sound of my voice. There will be vessels of the anointing. Carriers of your power. If there be a deficiency, a limitation fighting them. Come into agreement with them. I supply them power and strength. You are protected. You are sure there. Every plot ahead of you this week canceled in the name of Jesus. I command help, favor, and good news. What has filled you to today? I open the door for you in Jesus' mighty name. And everyone who believed like I did shouted the living amen. Will you clap for Jesus? Are you sure you are clapping for Jesus? Can you go ahead and take your seat for one minute? family and you are plan to travel after church kindly see me after church please i see a family you have planned to travel either today or tomorrow it's a family if it's just you it's not you help her and let her sit on my chair if it's a family and you have planned to travel after church or tomorrow please see me after church i beg you all right can you pick up your offerings let's try to go. i hope you enjoyed this video and I believe that you were blessed. If um, you were blessed by this video, make sure that you click on the share button and share it to a friend. And also make sure that you like the video so that YouTube can recommend this video to other people so that they can also be blessed by the message. If you have any question, please make sure that you contact us and we'll get back to you. And also if you are watching this video and you don't know Jesus Christ, ask the Lord and personal savior. I want you to make that decision. Just contact us in the description. Call us and let us lead you to receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. And lastly, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and turn on the, that notification bell icon. Turn it on so that when new videos are uploaded, you can be notified. Thank you so much and see you in our next video and prayer section. Bye.